It's time to take you through this week in Nichols Athletics as we bring you the best of Colonel Sports from Nichols State University. This week in Nichols Athletics is presented by State Farm. Contact your local State Farm agent today and get to a better state. This week in Nichols Athletics is also sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. Rouse's, either you're local or you're not. Good evening and welcome to This Week in Nichols Athletics presented by State Farm Insurance. I'm your host, Mike Wagenheim. We've got another packed show for you as we take you around the country from Nashville to Chicago to East Texas to right here on the bayou. Let's get started on the gridiron. The Nichols football team headed to Beaumont, Texas in search of their first Southland win of the season. However, the Lamar Cardinals have the same thing in mind. There was no playoff bid on the line, no trophy, no in-state bragging rights just pride and the colonels have that in spades provost umphrey stadium saturday afternoon the colonels in beaumont for the first time since 1984. lamar struck on their first drive as ryan masakowski connected with kevin johnson on a 15-yard scoring strike but the colonels andrew dolan replies with a 25-yard field goal nichols down seven to three after five minutes Late first quarter, Masakowski picked off by Nichols linebacker Kerry Gidry at the Colonel 41. Gidry's first interception of the season, he returns it to the Cardinal 38. Nichols looks like they might be in business, but three plays later, Nichols QB Landry Klon missing his target. Brandon Thomas with his team leading fourth interception. It remains 7-3 after one quarter. Early second, Nichols drives it down into the red zone but can't convert. Adrian Guillory grabs the fade. Only, it was the only time that Nichols failed in the red zone, but it was costly. Lamar turns around going 80 yards in 14 plays. Barry Ford with a TD here. He had 111 yards receiving. It's 14-3 to Lamar. Final two minutes of the half. Masakowski flushed from the pocket, but finds Reggie Begleton on the run. First TD of 2012 for Begleton. The PAT was missed. Nichols down 23 at the half. But they take the third quarter kickoff and march it down the field. 75 yards in 13 plays. Marcus Washington punching it in from a yard out his fifth score of the year Nichols within 10 points on the ensuing drive Lamar their quarterback gets knocked out of the game Gidry levels Masakowski Torin Joseph picks off the wobbly pass the Colonels take over at the Cardinal 26 all the momentum swinging their way out of the Wildcat here LaQuinton Casson on the keeper takes it in the four yard touchdown run Nichols now down by just a field goal midway through the third Caston's second TD of the season but Lamar with Caleb Berry now at quarterback puts together a 15 play 90 yard drive Berry a former starter scrambles for the 15 yard TD early in the fourth. The Colonel comeback hopes further deflated here when Dolan misses wide left on this 53-yard attempt. Nichols able to force a turnover on downs, but nose guard John Prescott tips the pass from Klon, hauls it in, and runs 26 yards the other way. This one was the killer. 34 to 17 Cardinals with under six minutes to go. The next Colonel drive, it took some time, 15 plays, nearly four minutes. Klon hitting pay dirt on the eight yard scramble to bring Nichols within 10, but it wasn't enough. Nichols falling to Lamar, 34 to 24. The Colonels will close out Southland Conference play tomorrow night, playing host to Southeastern Louisiana in the annual River Bell Classic. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. here at John L. Guidry Stadium. On to the hardwood. College basketball season tipping off this weekend, and the Colonels wasted no time picking a fight, heading to Nashville to face Vanderbilt of the SEC. Let's take you to Memorial Coliseum Saturday afternoon as the curtain goes up on the 2012 2013 season. Opening minute of play, Keydron Johnson of Vandy starts off a big performance, accelerating, takes it across the key and off the glass. First bucket of the ball game. The Colonels would hold their own. Sam McBeth to Shane Relier, back to Sam, and he finds Fred Hunter on the baseline cut. Hunter back after a year's absence. He was ready to go. We're tied at two. Six and a half minutes in, McBeth posting up on Rod Odom. Can't hit, but Hunter cleans it up. Nichols with the lead. Hunter with 11 points, five boards in the first half. Colonels maintaining the edge. Nice ball movement here. Hunter from the corner, dishing to McBeth for the lay in. 1916 Nichols. Inside of four minutes, the Commodores take the lead. Johnson from the right arm. Mark lines it up. He scored double figures in the first half. Nichols right back at it. Shane Rillier to Lachlan Press. The bonus ball from the corner squares the game at 22. The only three ball of the first half for Nichols. But Vandy scores the final six points of the half. Kyle Fuller 
Pump fake and the J just before the buzzer. Nichols down six at the break. Then Vandy comes out and starts to pull away early in the second half. They work it to the post, out to Fuller, then to Johnson for the three ball. Just like that, the deficit is a dozen. Nichols trying to hang in. Macbeth up top, defers to Lachlan, pressed over to TJ Carpenter for the long distance connection. TJ with 11 points in his debut. Under 17 to go, Macbeth gets the ball from Carpenter baseline, turns and fires. Macbeth finished with 15. Vandy, though, just wouldn't allow an opening. Here, Hunter penetrates, hands off to Press, missing up close. Hunter finishes again. 15-point game with 12 minutes to play. But Rillier here has his pass picked off by Johnson. He takes it himself, the finish and the foul. Johnson with 25 points, six boards, and six assists. Nichols able to make it respectable around the arc here over to Prest, who delivers a three. Nichols nailed six bonus balls in the second half, but it just wasn't enough. Fred Hunter, he's back. 21 points, 10 boards. He shot 9 of 14 from the floor, but Nichols falling 80 to 65 in the season opener at Vanderbilt. Earlier today, we had a chance to catch up with head coach J.P. Piper and get his thoughts on the Vanderbilt game. Uh, we were pleased. Uh, I thought our guys played well for the first time out. Um, had to kind of knock the rust off a little bit. Uh, you know, Fred Hunter had a great night, 21 and 10, and uh, great to see him back in action on the floor. Uh, learned some things about ourselves. Got to do a little better job of guarding a three-point line. I thought we rebounded well. Uh, defended well in transition and half court defense was pretty solid. So a lot of positives and uh, as always a few things we need to clean up. A lot of guys got a lot of minutes. Uh, I think everybody that got on the floor played at least eight. And you planning on spreading it around this entire year? Yeah, I think we have to. We're asking them to defend and, and play at a higher level, play harder for longer uh, if possible. So um, you, you've got to particularly guys like Fred, if we want him to play as hard as we think he needs to play to get 21 and 10, then you got to give him a blow in fairness to him. He can't, he can't be expected to go 38 minutes a night. So we do want to run a lot of guys through there. And I think particularly early, uh, it's better to have a longer rotation. Maybe when we get into conference play, we'll shorten it up a little bit. We'll see. But um, still trying to learn a little bit about our guys and figure out the right combination. So um, in my mind, nothing wrong with playing a lot of guys early. Colonels had a great start to that game and only down six at the half before Vandy started to pull away uh, midway through the, uh, the the second half. Those guys have to come away with a lot of confidence after this one. I hope so. Uh, the message after the game was really pretty positive. Um, you know, I told them at, at, at halftime I was frustrated because we gave up a 6-0 run to go in down six at half and that uh, my instincts were to go in there and climb all over them a little bit and chew them up, but I didn't because I felt like we had played hard and that most of the first half had gone our way. The way we started the second half, I said, you know, I probably should have come in here and jumped on you a little bit. Um, but after that first time out um, early in the second half, I really thought we played them toe-to-toe -to -toe the rest of the game. It's just unfortunate we'd spotted them a, you know, an 18, 19-point lead at that point. So... Um, it, really, when you look at the, the overall picture of the game, it was a four-minute stretch where we weren't very good. Um, I think we can address that and clean that up. And, uh, you know, I, I will be a little more demanding, uh, not necessarily having to scream and yell at them, just realizing what they're capable of and making sure that we demand it at all times. We can't have lapses like we had to start the second half. And, look, Vanderbilt's a good team and, and with good players. And I don't know that that wouldn't have happened at some point in the second half. I'm just frustrated that right out of the locker room, when we're fresh and supposedly focused, uh, we didn't get a good effort to start. Even so, uh, with all the new bodies this year and with Fred coming back after a year absence, are you surprised by how quickly this team has gelled? Well, you know the Australian trip helps a lot. I think if you take away those ten practices in those four games, we're probably not as polished, even though we're not where we want to be. Uh, not as polished as we were uh, on Saturday. So um, that's why those trips are huge. And if you track um, what happens with teams that go on those trips, they usually have big years after those trips because of uh, the added opportunity to have guys kind of come together. Um, you know, Theodore Carpenter had a great night. He didn't look like a freshman out there, but he's already gotten his feet wet. It really wasn't his first game because uh, he played with our guys over in Australia. So huge benefits there and, um, you know, hopefully a sign of good things to come. Got another SEC foe, uh, Missouri, on the schedule coming up on a Friday night on the road. 
What do you make of the uh, Tigers from what the little you've seen of them so far? They're, they're scary good. It's going to be uh, a heck of a test for the Colonels. Uh, it's an NCAA team. They're ranked in the top 25 preseason. Um, you know, it's a little frightening when you go to try to prepare because there's so many weapons and so many things they can do to hurt you. Uh, but it's exciting. We think we have a good team, and this will be a wonderful test for us, a great environment for these young men to go play in. And, uh, you know, looking forward to the challenge. You've been telling people quietly, and I'm not going to keep it so quiet after all, this probably is the best team you've had since you've become head coach here uh, nine, ten years ago now. Do you still feel that way after this first game? I do. Um, we've had, we've been blessed and fortunate to have kids like Fred. When you go back and look at Bose and Ryan Bathy, I think the difference this year is that we have um, a stronger supporting cast. Uh, there are several guys on the floor for us now, Dan Trell, Theodore Carpenter, Sam McBeath, Lachlan Press, who can make plays, who can uh, score enough points to hurt you. Uh, we're better defending, we're better rebounding, we're quicker up and down the floor. So um, yeah, a lot more options for us as a coaching staff. Young kids with size, you think about Travis Julian, and uh, we just got Jamarcus Horace. Uh, turning the corner, so some athleticism and size we've not had in the past. It, it's exciting, and it, it looks like it's setting up to be a good couple of years because uh, other than Fred and Lyndon, the rest of these guys will all be back next year. All right, Coach, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. It's the head coach of the Colonels, J.P. Piper. You can listen to Friday night's game at Missouri on the Colonel Sports Radio Network. We'll be back with more in just a moment here on This Week in Nichols Athletics, presented by State Farm Insurance. Does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. That ships them off to some bundle factory. I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Bundle and save with your local State Farm agent. At Rouse's, we love football, we love the players, we love the fans, and you know we love the food. So whether it's high school, college, or pros, if there's a game, we're tailgating. You can tackle your tailgate, too, with one stop by Rouse's. Get Rouse's ready to grill meat, chicken, and pork, or pick up Rouse's ready to serve tailgate specials. Everything is made fresh for the game, and you know it's all good. So get the home field advantage every time you shop. Shop local. Shop Rouse's. Now that's tailgating. back with you on this week in Nichols Athletics presented by State Farm Insurance. Folks, there is a great club to join if you're a faculty or staff member here or a student. It's called Nichols Nation. A couple of students started it a few years back and it's grown. Membership has doubled since last year alone. GoColonels.com is the place to go to register. It's www.geaux GoColonels.com You get a club t-shirt, free food at select home events. We even have drawings for members, great prizes to be given out. One of our members and a guest is going to fly with the football team for their game at Oregon State. Again, that's Nichols Nation. You can register at GoColonels.com. Oh, the Colonel Women's Hoops team opened their campaign at the Maggie Dixon Classic in Chicago. On Friday night, Nichols faced 25th ranked DePaul. KK Babin led the way with 15 points. Alicia Allen added 12, but the Blue Demons were too much, dropping Nichols 87 to 57. However, Nichols came back on Saturday and earned the win against Mississippi Valley State. Babin with 13 points, eight boards, and eight assists. Jasmine Scott hit a couple of big buckets down the stretch and Nichols eked out the 60 to 57 victory. The Colonels host Louisiana Monroe this Friday at 6 and Louisiana Lafayette coming up on Monday also at 6 p.m. Right now, Nichols men's and women's basketball season tickets are on sale for a special combo price of just 50 bucks. It's the best deal around 22 home games between the men and women all for just 50 bucks. Visit NicholsTickets.com or call 985 448 
888-888-4790 for more information. Taking us through the rest of a packed weekend that was in Colonel Sports is Summer Davis. Saturday was a busy day for Nichols. The volleyball team competed against an in-state rival with both teams looking for momentum heading into the postseason. Former softball players came back for a little bit of action and a local festival brought many people from the community together. Nichols Volleyball headed to Hammond to take on Southeastern Louisiana in a contest to determine conference tournament seating. The Lady Lions played a challenging match, but the Colonels were able to make adjustments when necessary and defeat Southeastern in four sets. Moving forward, head coach Patrick Hiltz wants the consistency of his players to be brought into the next match. Hitting was nice. We, we hit over 300. Passing was good. Uh, we didn't have any issues there. Um, and we were able to get things figured out defensively based on what another team was doing to us. So we were able to make adjustments and I think that was the nice thing. We're going to have to be able to do that in the conference tournament in order to be able to move on. The volleyball team will head over to Conway, Arkansas on Friday to play against number two seed Sam Houston State, kicking off the Southland Conference Tournament. Although an exciting time for the Colonels, thinking too far ahead is not an option. They've met their goal. You know, the, the goal was to make the conference tournament and now they're excited about moving on and, and getting a win in the conference tournament. And, and I think if we can push through and just get one win in the conference tournament, the momentum from that could be huge. We, we could end up finding ourselves in a championship game. Um, but realistically, we got to focus on the first game. The Colonel softball team held their second annual alumni game. It was all fun and cheers as the former stars tried to keep pace with the current crop of players. Head coach Angel Santiago's favorite part about the game is watching the enthusiasm from past Colonels being brought to life when they get back on the field. He knows this alumni game is important to the program. The alumni game is very important for the, for the program um, to know its lineage and history of the players. I think it's awesome that the, the, the old past alumni come in um, from different decades um, to just come discuss and talk to the ladies about what the next ex expectations of the program are and what to do as a player and give them little tips and tricks. Just across town from the game, Thibodeauville, a yearly community celebration was taking place. Colonel Tilu and several Nickel student athletes were there to interact with locals and show what the school has to offer. This is one of our community's biggest events and since we're the only university in this town we thought oh, we definitely need to do some community outreach here. Um, this is our first time doing it so today we just have some general information that we thought the community might find valuable, some sports schedules, some information on how they can use the library, some fun things to give out to the kids and stuff for alumni, um, applications to the Alumni Federation. So um, whatever we could pull together that we thought the community might find some use in, we have that on the table today and it's all free. We're just handing it out because um, the more we can get the Nichols name out there, the more support we can get. Reporting for This Week in Nichols Athletics, I'm Summer Davis. Thank you, Summer. It's time to announce our Rouse's Student Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. Either you're local or you're not. Rouse's Supermarkets are local with their roots established in Thibodeau in 1923. Trust Rouse's for great food and great values. Louisiana's best can be found at your local Rouse's or at Rouse's.com. Our Rouse's Student Athlete of the Week, KK Babin, the junior guard, averaged 14 points, five and a half boards, six and a half assists, and two steals in the Maggie Dixon Classic in Chicago, earning all tournament honors. Congratulations, KK. Folks, plenty of great ways to keep up with the Colonels throughout the season through our social media outlets, Facebook slash Go Colonels, Twitter slash Colonel Sports, YouTube slash Nichols Athletics. Check them all out every single day. We always have new updates up and hashtag everything, hashtag Go Colonels. When we return on this week in Nichols Athletics, presented by State Farm Insurance, we'll take a look at one key statistic that shows Nichols has found a winning formula. Stay with us. Does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. <laughs> that ships them off to some bundle factory. <laughs> I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Bundle and save with your local State Farm agent. At Rouse's, we love football. We love the players, we love the fans, and you know we love the food. So whether it's high school, college, or pros, if there's a game, we're tailgating. You can tackle your tailgate, too, with one stop by Rouse's. Get Rouse's ready to grill meat, chicken, and pork, or pick up Rouse's ready to serve tailgate specials. Everything is made fresh for the game, and you know it's all good. So get the home field advantage every time you shop. 
Shop local. Shop browsers. Now that's tailgating. student-athletes and fans can be proud of, and it carries more weight than any record book. The graduation success rate, or GSR, continues to climb for the Nichols Athletics Department and is contributing to the improvement of the university as a whole. The GSR is an NCAA measurement designed to show the proportion of student-athletes who earn a degree within six years. The latest rate at Nichols, 68%, is an all-time high for the school and the fourth best ranking in the state, with the softball, men's tennis, and men's cross-country teams earning the number one marks in the Southland Conference. Athletic Director Rob Bernardi explains the overall efforts. One of the things, obviously, is when the university went from a open admissions policy in 2005, I believe, to a selective admissions, that had a, you know, a dramatic effect on the quality of the student athletes that were coming, getting into to Nichols. The emphasis on recruiting student athletes that were academically eligible, that were academically ambitious, and then also the idea that once we got student athletes here, if there was a pool of them that needed some remediation, then to identify what they needed and provide those services to them. And so I think, you know, those things had a tremendous impact on our graduation rates and our APR scores. At Nichols, the coaching staffs assist their players in achieving goals both athletic and academic, contributing to their overall success. Men's basketball head coach J.P. Piper never misses a beat when it comes to being the backbone for his players. We do these young men a disservice if we don't prepare them for life after basketball. You know, it is student athlete, student being first on purpose. And I personally take great pride in graduating our guys. I've never missed a graduation where we had a guy walk. And uh, my intention is to never miss one. If one of our guys is graduating, uh, we're here watching and supporting. Uh, it's a big deal. Baseball head coach Seth Thibodeau sees the hard work and dedication of his players pay off as they are duly rewarded. I think I give more credit to our players because it's a determination on their part. Um, I, I feel like I give a lot of, I should give more credit to my assistant coaches too. I don't want to take any credit for it, to be honest with you, because it's just something that we're supposed to do. You know, I, I don't look at it as something that I go out of my way to do. I feel like it's, it's part of the, the job. And I know our, our administration has a huge hand in it, and, and we can only be as good as the people we have to turn to. And when we have to turn to David Zarang and Andrew uh, Kearney here and, and all these guys and Lori Reshort and the people in ac ac academics, we, we lean on those guys for so much, I don't think they realize it, uh, and, and we appreciate it. We can never thank them enough. Getting support from every angle of the department, senior baseball player Mike Sook sees Thibodeau's approach as invaluable. Yeah, I think he, you know, just the way he talks to us every day, uh, you know, we're, we try to be great on the field, but, you know, his main concern is to be great in the classroom, uh, to graduate, and, you know, so we can get our degree. Uh, when I came to Nichols, it really was a long shot for me to graduate in two years. You know, we really sat down with, you know, my coach and I, and we discussed that, uh, you know, all the classes that I could take and, you know, try to, try to graduate before, you know, I left here. Along with the coaches, Nichols President Dr. Stephen Hulbert believes this collective effort contributes to the university's reputation as a whole. I'm delighted with the graduation rate of athletics that reaches 68 percent. I mean, that's amazing as far as I'm concerned. To be in a position where we're uh, behind LSU and Louisiana Tech, I'm delighted for us and I'm delighted for our athletes. It shows that we're paying serious attention to the work at hand. And we want our athletes to have a great opportunity on the field or court or track, but we want them to get a degree. And that's what's important, and that's working. While the GSR measurement concludes with a student-athlete's graduation, the coaches at Nichols know that the road doesn't end there. Thibodeau is among many who remains in contact with former players and sees them continue to succeed in life. I, I had a young man, uh, his boss actually called me about about a month ago, the guy that graduated here last year and tell me, you can just tell he played baseball at Nichols State University. He's very respectful. 
Uh, he communicates with everyone. You can just tell he was a college athlete. And he appreciated and thanked me for what I did for the young man. And really and truly, it was just doing what we're supposed to do. And, and it, but it mo it's exciting to hear that. And, and, and I talked to a couple other guys that called me. And, and it's really neat. And it's motivating to continue it on. For This Week in Nichols Athletics, I'm Ashley Bull. Thank you very much, Ashley. Great things going on inside the classroom here around Nichols State University. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll wrap things up for the week. You're tuned in to This Week in Nichols Athletics, presented by State Farm Insurance. Does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. <laughs> that ships them off to some bundle factory. Uh, I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Bundle and save with your local State Farm agent. At Rouse's, we love football. We love the players, we love the fans, and you know we love the food. So whether it's high school, college, or pros, if there's a game, we're tailgating. You can tackle your tailgate, too, with one stop by Rouse's. Get Rouse's ready to grill meat, chicken, and pork, or pick up Rouse's ready to serve tailgate specials. Everything is made fresh for the game, and you know it's all good. So get the home field advantage every time you shop. Shop local. Shop Rouse's. Now that's tailgating. We welcome you back to This Week in Nichols Athletics, presented by State Farm Insurance. So glad you could join us here on our program today. We'll be here each and every Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, right here on Cox Sports Television. Folks, with the holidays right around the corner, it's a great time to take a look at NicholsGear.com. Plenty of merchandise up there, polos, T-shirts, great gift ideas, novelty items, ball caps, whatever you could possibly want for your favorite Colonel fan, you'll find it right there. Head to NicholsGear.com for your holiday needs. Games coming up on campus this week. The River Bell Classic Thursday night, always a battle on the football field. Nichols and Southeastern Louisiana, 6 p.m. right here at John L. Guidry Stadium. Don't want to miss it. And then on Friday night, also at 6 o'clock, the women's basketball team debuts here at home. It'll be their home opener at Stouffer Gym against the UL Monroe Warhawks. That's also scheduled for 6 o'clock in the evening again. Thursday night football, 6 p.m., Nichols and Southeastern. Friday night, women's basketball, Nichols and UL Monroe. For tickets, purchase them in advance. You can call our ticket hotline, 985-448-4790. That's 985-448-4790. Also, our tickets are available online, G-E-A-U-X, GoKernels.com. That's where you can find tickets and anything you could possibly want to follow the Colonels throughout the season, including news, stats, and bios. That's going to do it for our show this week. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you again next Wednesday. Today's show has been presented by State Farm. Contact your local State Farm agent today and get to a better state. This show has also been sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. Rouse's, either you're local or you're not. This has been a presentation of the Colonel Sports Network.